Hello! Welcome to Adventures in TV Land! For today's adventure, I've come to Solby Service Station in Mount Olive, Illinois, which is located along Old Route 66. Soulsby Service Station in Mount Olive was built in 1926 by Henry Soulsby. As you can see, it's a 66 roadside attraction. Soulsby Shell Station, Mount Olive, Illinois. And this reads, Soulsby Shell Station, Mount Olive, Illinois. Russell Soulsby built the station in 1926 with his father, Henry. He ran it with his sister, Ola, until 1991. For 65 years of operation, they sold only Shell gasoline. Mr. Soulsby had been a miner. However, in the mid-1920s, he suffered an injury, which forced him to retire from mining. He took most of his life savings purchased two lots in the corner of 1st Street, which is now Old Route 66, and with the remaining funds that he had left, he built the gas station. Mr. Soulsby built and designed the gas station himself. The building is an excellent example of the canopy form of housing. It was quite popular during the 1920s and early 1930s. Although he opened the station at the beginning of the Great Depression, uh, his business thrived. It's kind of, I guess, you know, Will Rogers said in, during the Depression, we might be the first nation to drive to the poorhouse in an automobile. inside the window here. Can we see anything in there? Historically, those of you who might know about with Route 66, I mean, the, the roadway had an important part to play in the, the exodus and the travel of Americans during the Great Depression. That's where it came through Steinbeck's famous novel, The Grapes of Wrath, you know, the title of The Mother Road, that all came about then. Soulsby ran the station until 1991, and then his children, Russell and Ola, they took over partnership of the station. But Mr. Soulsby died in 1996. After World War II, Mr. Soulsby, in addition to having the gas station, he had a, basically a television and radio repair shop in the station as well. There was an antenna that was on the roof of the station and um, he did experiments and things there and uh, that took place at the station in addition to the, you know, selling gas and everything else. Now this contraption here is rather quite interesting. Uh, appears to be something that they would dump oil maybe into and then also maybe, or maybe pour oil into maybe cans or something? I'm not for sure. Uh, if you know what this is exactly, uh, let me know below in the comments. Now, unlike a typical garage, uh, there was no indoor place for Mr. Soulsby to change oil or work on, do minor repairs on the cars. However, he did have an outdoor ramp and that ramp is still here today. Now, showing the progress of time, however, there is now a tree that has grown up through the middle of the ramp. Now 
that's kind of nice. They've got a couple picnic tables out here and you can you know, come out here and sit and have your lunch. Now these items here, they're kind of interesting. Uh, they're weighted, basically connected into the ground. Does anyone know what these are either? Let me know in the comments. Russell and Ola sold the gas station in 1997 to a neighbor, Mike Dragovich. And in the early 2000s, Mr. Dragovich with uh, some preservation groups, they were able to get some grant money and they restored the station to the way that it looked during its heyday. That was Soulsby's service station, gas station in Mont Olive, Illinois, along Illinois Route 66, so Route 66. Um, it's really cool that to see this. I mean, it, I didn't realize coming back here again, I've stopped by several times, but um, they this actually was open until 1991, and that's when the service station officially closed. So, um, but it was, you see things like this all along the route. Some of them are have been restored, such as this service station, or preserved. Others have not, and they fall into disrepair and become debilitated and, you know, just fall apart. It's really cool. When I was here, there was a family from Japan. They were traveling along Route 66 all the way from Chicago to Santa Monica, and I... They were here at about the same time I was. I took a photo for them, and I hope they enjoy the rest of their trip and everything else. Soulsby's Service Station. This has been another adventure in TV land. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel for further content and ring that bell for email notifications. And if there's some place that you would like to see me visit, or maybe you, or you, or you, maybe you, or maybe you right up there, or there. Any of you out there, if there are some place that you would like to see me visit, or you have a suggestion about some future video you would like to see me do, leave a comment in the comment section. And if you've enjoyed this adventure, or any of the adventures in TV land, you can help support this channel by going to either buy me a coffee or Patreon and making a donation or becoming a member at either one of those two places. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.